In today's tech video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix your Samsung smart refrigerator or even just your Samsung regular refrigerator. If it's not making any ice or you're having any kind of like defrost problems, we're going to troubleshoot a few different methods on how to get this working and get you back up and running again. That's today's tech video. Okay, so I have a, a Samsung smart refrigerator here. And the first step that we are going to want to do is, let me wake this thing back up here, is we're going to want to make sure that your uh, fridge or your freezer is making ice. So how you do that is you go over here to where it says fridge manager. Now this is on this particular page of my refrigerator. It may look a little bit different on yours, but if so, just try to find where it says fridge manager. And then as you can see, I got a fridge and then I got a freezer. I'm going to tap on freezer and it brings up this icon here. It says fridge manager, it tells me the temperature of what my refrigerator is. But over here is a settings icon and I'll go ahead and tap on that. And as you can see, it says ice maker and the toggle is on. So make sure the first step that you try is that you check to make sure that the ice maker is toggled on and making ice. Once you check that, let's go ahead and move on to the next. Okay, the second step is to make sure that your freezer is at zero. You wanna make sure that your freezer is set to zero. So we're gonna go back over here to the fridge manager as if we were starting to look for this at, from the beginning. When you, when you tap on there, here is the actual freezer portion and you can see that mine is set to zero. Just make sure yours is as well. Um, you can toggle it up and down with those arrows there. The top one here is your refrigerator. This is your freezer. So make sure that that's set to zero. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, next step is when you open up your refrigerator, there is a refrigerator door switch. This is what mine looks like. Sometimes they're located here on the refrigerator itself. Mine just happens to be on the door. And as you can see, when you push it in, that's what tells the, the, the refrigerator that the door is closed. So sometimes this particular door switch may go faulty. So if it does, that may prevent you from getting uh, ice or your your ice maker making ice. So uh, you may have to replace that switch. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive and um, relatively easy to do. So that would be something to check. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next. Okay, next is to check the uh, on and off button that's actually on the inside of your ice maker. So what you gotta do is you gotta pull this door off and if you're pulling it off for the very first time, it, it's kind of hard to pull it. Um, just there's like a handle underneath here, and I had to pull it the very first time that I pull it, pulled it off. I had to tug pretty hard, uh, but once you pull it out a few times, it kind of loosens itself up. Okay, once you have it out, on here on the side, there's like a blue button for me. Uh, it may be a little bit different uh, on different models, if so. Um, just look around. Maybe it'll be on the side here. Some uh, ice makers have buttons on, uh, on, or some Samsung models have ice buttons on the side here of the actual uh, container. Sometimes they're here on the side like mine, or sometimes they may be underneath here. So just look around, see where your button is. Now, mine's flat. It doesn't even really look like a button. It almost looks like a sticker. Let me see if I can zoom in here. And... As you can see, mine is pretty flat right there, um, but you can actually press in on it and then you'll hear a beep. So one, two, three. There's the beep. All right, so I had to hold in there on a few seconds. And what that does is it turns your ice maker on and off and gets it to like reset itself. But more than likely that, that'll fix it a lot of times, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is you wanna make sure that your ice uh, tray door or whatever this thing's called is fully in. And as you see, I, here's mine's out. Just make sure that it's tucked in there and pushed in there real good. Uh, Cause sometimes if it's not connected here, it may tell the refrigerator that the ice maker is out and so it won't produce any ice. So just make sure that your door or your ice maker tray or whatever this thing's called is pushed in really good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, next thing that you want to check is the water filter. 
So right here is the tray on the very bottom shelf of my refrigerator. And this thing right here, when you I zoom in, is the water filter. And the way that you unlock it is by turning it like that. Uh, the very first time you do that, it's going to be really hard to turn. Um, mine was relatively easy because I have replaced this filter. Uh, what you do is you turn it and then you pull this out. And this is a water filter. Sometimes these things get backed up and clogged. Therefore, you need to replace it. And Samsung always recommends that you replace it with a genuine Samsung water filter. But replace this filter uh, because they do get clogged sometimes about every three months, three to uh, five months. And um, that may pre be preventing the water from going up to the ice maker, clogging it. And that's probably why uh, some of these refrigerators are not making ice. So maybe you replace that water filter, see if that's your problem there. Uh, but that's how you put it back in also. Okay, the last thing to check, which I can't really show with, unless I pull this refrigerator out, is to check the water line that is going to your refrigerator. Make sure that it's uh, not kinked or, or, or um, if it's leaking or anything like that. Lord help us if it's not leaking or if it is leaking. Uh, you would see it coming out of the bottom here. But maybe check that water line as a last resort and make sure that the water is flowing uh, really well through that line getting water to your refrigerator, so therefore it's making ice. But those are the quick tips to try and uh, fix your Samsung refrigerator. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.